So this is a question that we're asking uh, everyone on this series. Um, and I'll come to you again, Jeroen, uh, first, because you're definitely in flow at the moment. How can a company um, get started to successfully shift from a focus on jobs to instead a focus on skills? And appreciate you might be paraphrasing some of the some of the um, comments that you've already given. Um, I came to four. Yeah. Uh, first, start with agility as a mindset in your company. If you don't have that, then you should question if telemarketplace is the right thing to do. Then simply start with a telemarketplace. Uh, know which bubble you want to address uh, first. Focus on building your core skills taxonomy. Don't be uh, too detailed about it. Also work it. Try to work with inferred data so that you know what your people say, what your tests say, but work with inferred data, let technology uh, work for you. Uh, and then the most important one again is just start. Uh, but that's what I would, uh, would recommend, uh, David. And it's, hopefully it's a bit of a summary of what I try to consistently convey. No, no, that's absolutely perfect, Jeroen. And, and Jeff, anything to add to that? Uh, I, I'll, um, I'll double down on a couple of things that I've heard and summarize it this way. Um, I think if you are not, if you have not already started on a talent marketplace and the associated skills intelligence it creates, you should do that in 2023. Um, I think one of the things that we are a little accustomed to doing in HR, but in other business functions is putting in our plan for the year that we put something on the roadmap. Uh, I don't think 2023 and 2024 are years where we're going to get a lot of points on the board or score a lot of points in the game, whether it's football or hockey or field hockey, by saying that we're going to do something in 2024 or 2025. Um, the game has already changed. So we, we actually need to, to, to do something different in 2023. Uh, I, I think the other is, and we've, uh, I was briefly talking about this a moment ago, recognizing that moving from jobs as the main unit of analysis and mobility to both skills and interests. I don't think it's only skills, by the way. I think potential are the skills and developing skills, but also the interests and the needs and the aspirations of the business and the workers. This is a journey of both mobility and agency and skills and data maturity, right? And what's been so exciting in the last couple of years is seeing that uh, in an integrated journey, we can improve mobility and agency, the talent marketplace itself for projects, gigs, um, roles, mentors, learning. And because markets create information, it's very powerful and of course, that we're gonna be able to infer information from the activities in the marketplace. We can infer information from third-party data, but all of these things only happen, as Jürgen said, and I'm going to underscore, if you actually get started, right? If you put a marketplace in place, if you put it in flow, and you take an agile approach, and you start moving, and you continue to learn. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.